What up, everybody? Carver Moses, would you welcome the last day of the national and the last eBay break of the day? 2019 Chrome Hobby Baseball four box break number five is what my sheet tells me. So let's do it. All right, here we go. How you doing today, Steve? Yeah, it's just a typo, Franco. Thank you for letting me know, though. But yeah, that's a filler for number four. That is a filler for number four. And I'll fix that right now. Thank you for letting me know. But it is a filler for number four. There it is. Done. Fixed. Appreciate it, uh, Frank. I mean, we would have caught it eventually, but thank you regardless. Uh, Steve, yeah, you know, hung out with Kimmy and her husband and Brian. Went to Texas Roadhouse, ate a bunch. Uh, you know, got into a bit of a food coma. So just went back to my room and went to sleep. Didn't, you know, really go out into the city or anything like that. That stuff just, that stuff costs money, man. You know, we're, we're pretty far, well, not pretty far. We're like half an hour away uh, from Chicago. That's like a, you know, $30, $40 Uber ride. Because you got, you got a tip. You got a tip. And, uh, but Jason was telling me that he wants to check out this place called Portillo's. Which I went to already. You know, I've accomplished one of my goals, and that's to hit up a bunch of food spots I've wanted to hit up. Uh, so I can say Malnati's, in my opinion, has the best stuff. Uh, well, pizza, I guess. Uh, Rico Benny's has a really good breaded steak sandwich, which is to die for. And Portillo's, I went. What, 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 Friday? I went Friday night. I went I went out into the city Friday night. Uh, and yeah, I had me some Portillo's. It was really good. And not, not a bad price either. And I think I went to like the original location. Uh, apparently there's a bunch of Portillo's everywhere all over Chicago. Uh, but I went into the city and I don't know. I, I feel like it was the original location because it was, it was pretty big. There was like a second floor with a bar up top and everything. It was pretty cool. Really, really, really good hot dogs. So if Jason decides he wants to go again, I will gladly join him. I gotta say, the food here in Chicago is awesome. Alright, here we go. Good luck, y'all. Well, here's an auto for Astudillo of the Twins. My website's a little lagging a little bit right now. I'm trying to change that filler thing there. It's taking its sweet time. Merrifield of the Royals, green, which is to 99. I haven't rode the sub, well, not the subway, the train, I guess. I, I didn't get a chance to ride that. Maybe next time. I don't know about that one, James. That that sounds expensive. 
Thank you for stopping by saying what's up, Jim. Appreciate you. Nice to meet you, man. It's always nice to put a face to uh, to the names. But yeah, that place sounds fancy. I'm, I'm on a budget. <laughs> It all, it all depends on what's uh, going to happen today. A lot of things in the air right now. Oh, Hearn of the Royals. Blue. That looks nice. That blue on blue. To 150. Nice. A gold auto for the Astros. Josh James. That is to, uh, to 50. $20 if you get it with... Hash browns on top? That sounds... That sounds like I might need to try that. You know, the only time I've ever had like a hash brown on a burger is at Denny's, that uh, that Slam Burger they have, or whatever it's called. It's pretty good. Only two autos in the hobby boxes, and those have been pulled. One down, three more to go. Everybody's breaking down, well most people are breaking down. I wasn't able to get my PSA card this year. That's two years in a row, epic fail. This year was pretty cool too. They, they had them like in the design of the T206 tobacco cards from back in the day. I wanted to get one, but eh, wasn't meant to be. Oh, the hash brown replaces the bun? Oh, snap. That's a game changer right there. Where? The back of your phone is a basketball court. Oh, I don't know. It's just some wood. I gotta put the lines on there. It's you know, a basketball court, man. Make it look like a basketball court. There's this place in Miami. Well, there's a couple places. Uh, but specifically this one called Pincho Factory where they replaced the bun with uh, with fried plantain. Oh my god. It's pretty good. You ever been? Whatever that sauce is they Oh that my shit. god. That secret sauce. Yeah, they, they put one in like there's one by my house. In there. It's on Rudolph in the Le in the West Loop area. How far is that from the convention center, though? Because we're probably gonna stay local today. Maybe we gotta pack up. We may or may not get a flight tonight at eight o'clock. You know, There's a lot of things in the air. A lot of things in the air. You know, CPJ right now is packing up some things. And, you know, shipping stuff back to Miami is not exactly cheap. And flying with it is <laughs> is even more expensive. So, got to figure our lives out there. It's a bit of a ways, yeah. Probably going to have to pass on that, unfortunately. And like I was telling them how you wanted to go to Portillo's. Best hot dog I've had in a while, that's for sure. Laureano E's autograph. It's in downtown? Gotcha. You ever go to Bar Batters? No. Is that out here? No, it's like in Miami. It's oh. Like, oh my God. Oh. Oh, nice. I gotta check that out. We're gonna be emerging from our first guest of Sunday on the main stage. 
just a few minutes, we're going to be talking to Brian Clough of the autograph card. You know what I miss? I, probably the first thing I'm going to do when I get to Miami is go to Pollo Tropical. Give me a little chop chop. Nice! Fernando Tatis Jr. Padres autograph. I do love a uh, chop chop. I do love me some chop chops. Rice and beans, man. I want some rice and beans. I like that quesadilla wrap. Oh, I've had that one time. Pretty good. That cilantro garlic sauce, baby. Which is surprising. Yeah, they should have Quail Tropical in Chicago. Chris Davis Orioles to 75. I think our I think my gent, I think my gentle might be down. It's taking them forever to load. Skeet, skeet. There is the uh, website link in the chat for you as you request. Gold Shimmer for Guriel Jr. of the Blue Jays. That's the 50. Alright, two down, two left. Chipotle chicken sandwich, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty good sandwich. Hey, what's up? What's up, Mark? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it, it is it is a good time, uh, Mark. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Okay. Today is the last day of the national, but it has been fun. It's always fun. Four and five. How's everything with you, man? Twenty-one left. Well, I like it. Well, I got a big soul on it. 91. 
when everything fell through. I got out just before that. Um, I haven't been in all of a sudden. He thought, let's get rid of all your business. Yeah, I paid a lot of his tuition, he did fine. And all of a sudden, one day he comes home and he says, What's up, Jameis? This is an eBay break. Chiufo Rays with the autograph. You know, one way to know an eBay break from a store break is that we always put up the list with the teams and the names for our store breaks. We don't do that with eBay, Jameis, so... Yeah. Cool. I, I figured you would have figured that out by now, yeah. man. Jake Lamb, like, D-backs negative star. Because he was rounded all his life. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's nice. Yeah. When you come back to it, yeah, it's fun. It's nice. Um, so I'm worried that they're trying to get stores. All good, Jameis. All good. That's what happened in 94. Hopefully, you got so some nice rest. Every city had five Places selling baseball cards and they, they can't make money. <laughs> so little orange here. That's the deal, Twins Orange. That's the 25. Very nice. I didn't mind Fleer and Donners coming on board in 81. That was that was fine with Michael Kopech, White Sox Blue Rookie. Oh, it's still 150. And I just, I just watched this, uh, this thing, like a documentary last night about uh, Jack of All Trades. How they, they were saying like when, when Upper Deck started printing their thing, like they, basically they were only short printing their stuff with the machine for our solution. Like they had intentions to print as much as possible. Yeah, but because the machines were bad, they couldn't get as many cases done a day as they wanted to. Do. But then once they got it fixed, they just started printing grippies like by the thousand. Well, All right, now for the fourth and final box. Good luck, everybody. You can't tell me that you got a water break. Who was very happy? Who was it? Uh, Dale Murphy. You see the the misprint. I think the number in the eighty nines and all of a sudden misprint. misprint. They're scarce now. It's getting it's getting corrected. Those stops. The market still got a lot of them. All of a sudden, and it was nice and nice. And all of a sudden, every money shop and every person wants to do it. Every day that they buy, all of a sudden, every Walmart in the world got a market. Street stores. That's where I bought my hanger pack of produce. Yeah, at the store, at like nine. And your hundred dollar eighty nine upper deck set just went to thirty dollars. And they just put some masks. I never liked them. I mean, the cards were nice. They kind of bumped it up after school with a nice picture. And I put it right there. And the deck did nice. It looked nice, but you can't pull that shit on people's ears. And I'm just afraid trying to get the better viewers involved. It's going to get harder and harder to keep them open. Get them to make a profit. I mean, they got to make a profit. But so much of it's done like on the internet. You don't have to have the overhead of a regular shop or you have know, a cheap office. But I mean, even, I'm afraid you basically start to start to catch. They do sign some. I guess they, they already do. Really? You gotta figure out how to pay that. Last box, Mojo, y'all. Supposedly, Acuna had a walk off hit. His first walk off hit last night. 
the good state, and the state will send you a notice. Here's how much you And it'll probably cost you more so than the notice and the three cents that I mail that card to you know, Texas. And eBay will end up having to shut down if they start putting sales and tax on everything. I mean, I know the state just want a piece of their money. Exactly. Oh well. Alright, we'll see you a little so, later. Right. Good seeing you. Yeah, Bryce Wilson, Marie's Purple, which is the two ninety nine. <laughs> Oreos autograph, Josh Rogers. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I didn't really wasn't really paying attention to what they were talking about, but yeah, something about eBay starting to charge sales tax. I don't know. What's up, Travis? Good morning. Football as well. And the last hit in the last card of the box, Arcia for the Angels with the autograph. So that's going to start off our uh, recap. Arcia Angels, Rogers Orioles. Copic White Sox to two uh, to one fifty. Chiu for A's. Titus Junior Padres. Laureano A's. James of the Astros to fifty and Estudillo of the Twins. And that is going to do it for the break. Thank you, eBay.